Hi, this video is here to help you measure angles with a protractor. Let's take a look at a protractor and remind ourselves how we can use it to measure angles accurately. We use the unit degrees to measure angles. These are marked on two scales on the protractor. The outside scale goes from 0 to 180 degrees and the inside scale goes from 180 to 0 degrees. There is always a centre point on the protractor to help you position it on the angle correctly. Sometimes this looks like a dot or an upside down T. Before we carry on, let's recap our knowledge of classifying angles. This is an important skill that will help us when measuring angles with a protractor. This angle is a right angle. It's worth 90 degrees. This angle is less than 90 degrees. It is an acute angle. This angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. It is an obtuse angle. This angle is a bit trickier to identify. It's the angle on the outside. This angle is more than 180 degrees, but less than 360 degrees, which is a full turn. We call this type of angle a reflex angle. If you'd like more help with angles, then you can check out our angle facts video. Now it's your turn. Decide whether these angles are acute, obtuse, right angle or reflex angles. Pause the video here to make your estimates. All finished? Well done! Let's take a look at the answers. Angle A is an acute angle. Angle B is an acute angle, angle C is a reflex angle, and angle D is an obtuse angle. Estimating the angle first when measuring using a protractor means we are less likely to read the scale wrong. Let's estimate the angles shown here. Pause the video to decide if they are acute or obtuse. All decided? Let's have a look at the answers. Angle T is an acute angle. Angle U is an obtuse angle. And angle V is an acute angle. Now let's use the protractor to help us measure the angles accurately. Remember to estimate first. Angle C is an acute angle, so the answer should be less than 90 degrees. Position the zero line of the protractor on one line of the angle. Then position the centre point of the protractor on the vertex. Next, read the correct scale. Count up from zero. Angle C is 76 degrees, which fits with the estimate of the angle being less than 90 degrees. We use the symbol of a small circle to show the unit degrees. Have a go yourself now. Use the protractor to measure the angles shown on screen. Remember your estimates. This will mean you're less likely to read the wrong scale. You're going to see three pause screens with a question on each one. You can pause now and hit play when you're ready to try the next question. All complete? Let's have a look at the answers. Angle T is 15 degrees, angle U is 130 degrees, and angle V is 35 degrees. Now let's have a look at how to measure a reflex angle. You can do this by measuring the inner angle and then subtracting it from 360 degrees. In this example, the inner angle measures 30 degrees. 360 degrees take away 30 degrees equals 330 degrees. The reflex angle here measures 330 degrees. Have a go at measuring the following reflex angles. Remember to subtract the inner angle from 360 degrees. Well done, let's take a look at the answer. Angle G is 280 degrees, 
because 360 degrees minus 80 degrees equals 280 degrees. Angle H is 225 degrees, because 360 degrees minus 135 degrees is 225 degrees. Now, can you use what you've learned to decide whether Elena has measured this angle correctly? Pause the screen here and have a go. Just press play again when you're ready to continue. All complete. Let's have a look at the answer together. Elena has forgotten to position the zero line of the protractor on one line of the angle and position the centre point of the protractor on the vertex. Angle G is 77 degrees. I hope this has helped you to understand how to measure with a protractor. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more videos like this on the Twinkle website. So go and check them out.